Hello viewers, we will see an example of line integral in a vector integration. If a equal to x square plus 6y minus putting y z i plus 20 x z square i z k are the unit vectors along x, y and z axis respectively. Evaluate a dot dr from 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1 along the flowing path C. So this is the path C and B point. That means uh, uh, 0, 0, 0 and B2 point that means 1, 1. That path is defined by r equal to ti plus t square z plus t q a. That must be a path. And another path r equal to ti plus t j plus t k square. These are we will discuss in this. This figure used for this example, but uh, it is not appropriate for this example because the point uh, is in here, but this is in 0, 0, 0. But uh, we use this figure because uh, we use this figure for explanation of uh, a dot uh, dr. So for understanding, uh, we use this same figure for this. It is not uh, appropriate for uh, only this of that. So A be the surface, that means we consider these types of surface and uh, R be the path, that types of path and uh, when a dot dr then there a curve this is produced for the surface this is the output curve which lies on the a surface then the curve and this curve and the boundary made a surface and a dot dr means the area of this surface. So along C R equal to ti plus t square z plus tq that means xi plus yz plus zk so comparing this and we get x equal to t and y equal to t square and z equal to tq and putting these values in a vector then we get 90 square i minus 14 t to the power 5z plus 20 t to the power 7k similarly when r equal to this so dr equal to i plus 2tj plus 3t square k so now we can easily find out the, that a d r that means a dot d r we know the path is c so this is a dot d r that means 90 square d t and minus 28 t cube dt plus 60 t 9 dt 
if x equal to t, y equal to t square and z equal to t cube. But the point is defined 0, 0, 0. So x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and z equal to 0. x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and z is equal to 0. Then t satisfied this equation and the values of t is 0. So the initial value of t that means the lower limit of integral is 0. Similarly, that's 1, 1, 1. So 1, 1, 1, that means t equal to 1, t square equal to 1, and t cube equal to 1. So the values of t equal to 1, the upper limit is 1. And uh, we can calculate this uh, integral and we find the values, it is 5. So easy. Uh, so that means a dot dr equal to 5. So the surface area of this surface is 5. Now we will see the another path that means uh, the ti plus t square j sorry tj plus tk that's part this is the straight line firstly we will introduce this is a straight line if this vector is compared to xi yz and uh, zk then x equal to t y equal to t and z equal to t this uh, can be written as uh, x minus 0 by 1 equal to y minus 0 by 1 equal to z minus 0 by 1 equal to t. That means these are a straight line which passes through the 0, 0, 0 and both direction ratios are 1 on 1. So this must be a straight line. So along this straight line, R equal to Ti plus Tj plus Tk, that means Dr equal to I plus Z plus and similarly A equal to 3T square plus 6 t i minus 14 t square j plus 20 t q k and when we will find the a dot dr that means a dot dr this is the path C, so putting the values of A in here, so we get that this is dt square plus 6 to dt and integrating limit must be 0 to 1 because the points are initial points are 0, 0, 0 and the ending point 1, 1, 1. And minus 14 t square dt plus 20 t cube dt, and we calculate uh, this and we get the answer 13 by 3. These two are not same because the path are not same, but sometimes these two results are same the field is conservative then this is uh, other is it is very now we will see another example that's uh, suppose we will find the total work done in a moving particle in a force field that means uh, a b a force field which is defined x, y, z and these are minus 5z, z plus 10xk. There are 
i z k are the unit vectors along the x y and z axis respectively so the coefficient of i is 3 x y and the coefficient of z is the minus 5 z and coefficient of k is the 10 x so this uh, work done will be find out along the path uh, that means x equal to t square plus 1 and y equal to 2 t square uh, z equal to t cube from t equal to 1 to t equal to 2 that is the two points so very easy the total work done uh, can be find from this line integral that's e dot dr equal to 1 to 2 and firstly putting the values of x in and y and z then we get 3 t square plus 1 and 2 t square putting the values of x y and uh, dx that means 2 t dt and uh, similarly this is minus 5 t q and uh, 4 t dt is the multiple and then 10 x that means t square plus 1 and dz that means 3 t square dt so this can be uh, written 12 t to the power 5 10 t to the power 4 and 12 uh, t to the power cube and 30 t square and dt and integrating limit as usual on to 2 and calculate this we get uh, this 303 now i will see the f equal to nabla phi that means vector field produced from a scalar function the gradient of a scalar function so that time the line integral what represents so that's line integral uh, can be written as c f dot dr for c is the path and p1 and uh, p2 be the point on the path so this can be written as uh, this form now if f equal to nabla phi then p1 and p2 f that means nabla phi dot dr so p1 p2 nabla phi that means del phi del xi plus del phi del yz plus del phi del z k dot d x i d y z and d z k this is the vector so the scalar product that means the dot product p1 p2 and del phi del x dx plus del phi del y dy and del phi del z dz this is the right side of the total differential so this can be written as very simple p1 p2 and d uh, phi so integrating this and we get phi and uh, p1 p2 so phi of p2 minus phi of p1 so the answer only depend on the functional value 
only the two points that is the p2 and p1 points so here the path are not effect on the answer so when a p equal to nabla phi then the line integral is independent of path 